it with music, beautiful music. Hello, I'm Fred Miller, and this is yet another one of my lectures in song. Before we go into October surprises, a little information about me. I was born in Albuquerque, had a wonderful classical piano teacher. Classical music was my passion as a little kid. And then, right on my 13th birthday, the Beatles arrived, and so my musical taste expanded to include the great rock songs of the 60s. And that would go on through high school until the summer after I graduated, when a friend showed me a, a poster in the New York Times about a big rock festival taking place in upstate New York. And so we were up for an adventure. It was right after high school. I said, let's go, and we hitchhiked from New Mexico to the Woodstock Festival. I, I'm even in the poster there, very prominently, skinny version of myself. Uh, but that was it for rock music. I didn't want to be a classical musician, didn't want to be a rocker. I wanted to be a musician. I wasn't sure what that would look like. I, I went to college very briefly, then went around the country in my VW bug, finally settled in Greenwich Village. And at some point, somebody gave me an album of Ella Fitzgerald singing Cole Porter. And here I am. The world of Gershwin, Porter, Kern, Rogers, Berlin, Fred Astaire, Judy Garland, Ethel Merman, Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby. That was going to be my music, and it still is. And came up with the idea of a lecture in song, each one a profile of a great personality or some aspect of American popular song. Uh, I started with six programs, and now to date I have 75 different lectures in song with a few more to come, just a few. Uh, each described in detail at fredmillermusic.com. This program, October Surprises, uh, I guess it falls under the holiday category. Um, it has a lot of, the, that's the thing about October. It has a lot of different things. So start with a quote here from a fellow named Samuel Butler. Youth is like spring, an overpraised season more remarkable for biting winds than genial breezes. Autumn is the mellower season, and what we lose in flowers we more than gain in fruits. <laughs> Well, the program's entitled October Surprises, but the first really obvious surprise is it's no surprise at all, any more than the sun coming up and going down in the evening, you know? The uh, season is changing never more dramatically than in autumn. The leaves come down and cover the ground, the air grows chilly, the colors are deep and vivid, it's fall. Well, for many, it's a beginning, it's excitement, it's anticipation. I remember as a kid, you know, being buttoned up for school and running down and kicking the leaves out of the gutters, you know. As we get older and these intimations of mortality overcome us, well, it gets a little wistful, a little bittersweet. Uh, the warmth of flowering, the expansiveness of spring is over. And now things die back and become quieter and our thoughts turn a little melancholy. But that's only part of the story, you know. October is also Oktoberfest. It's the world's most over-the-top festival, starting in Germany and celebrated now everywhere. And complimenting Oktoberfest, which is German, uh, there's our salute to our Italian compatriots, Columbus Day. <music> Invitation to sing and dance and eat and celebrate that happiest and sunniest of Mediterranean lands. And if that's not enough, appealing to the child in all of us, there's the mystery and drama of Halloween. It all fits together, somehow or the other. There's melancholy, there's mystery, there's fun, there's food and drink. Let's start with the food and drink. How I love a glass of beer, more beer. Beer is very good with beer, more beer. When I'm thinking, I am thinking, ach, life is dear. But there's someone I love even more than beer. I love Louisa, Louisa loves me. When we...